Hello and welcome back to another Python 3 tutorial. My name is Tom with Mastercode Online and in today's tutorial we're going to talk about the inter method and the next method. So what's the iter method does do? Well the iter method will take um, a container of objects like a list for example and make them um, into an iter object. All right, so This is something we haven't talked about before. Then the next the next method will actually um, iterate through the iter object. So um, we're going to play a little make-believe in this tutorial and we're going to kind of just create um, a list of levels for a game and what we're going to do is put them into an iter object and then we're going to go ahead and create a function that will we will call and it will whenever the user completes a level it will go ahead and iterate through those iter objects. All right, so I hope that's not all too confusing, but let's go ahead and take a look at it. So let's fire up our Python interpreters. Um, so Python 3.6.0 is what I'm working with at the moment. All right, so let's go ahead and just create a list of levels. So we'll say A represents that list, and inside that list we'll just say uh, level 1, uh, level 2, and we're only going to have three levels because I'm getting sick of typing. So level three. All right. So cool. Now if we call it, we got a list of levels. Um, now we want to make this an iter object. All right. And we'll, and like I said before, an iter object is a whole different type of object. This is a list object here. And so if we want to use the next um, uh, method, then we need to use iter. All right, and I'm going to show you what the next actually does. So let's go ahead and first create the iter object. So we'll say B represents I T E R. All right, and this is the method. And we're going to put A in as the argument, and we're going to pass A. All right. So if we call B, now we got a list iter object. All right, cool. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, create a function now. So we'll do uh, define function, and we're going to call this function level. All right. Now we're going to tab in, and we're going to say next level uh, is equal to next method, and we're just going to pass b. All right. And hit return, and now we're going to return next level. All right. And we're going to come down, and now we'll just call level. All right, you notice it says level one. Now if we call the level function again, it's gonna say level two. And if we call the level function again, it's gonna say level three. And if we call it one more time, we're gonna get a failure. All right, it says stop iteration. All right, so <clears throat> basically what the, the next um, method does here, it iter it take, goes to the iter object and it will call the next object that's contained inside the iter uh, list object or list iter object all right so it's just going to call the next one so this, this works great um, versus if we try to iterate using like a for loop for example so if we did a uh, let's not do a let's do a c is equal to and we're going to use uh let me clear my screen here because that's all we down the bottom we're going to use um Let's do a print i for i in a, all right, and we're going to hit return, and there you go. It prints them all out at one time. That's not what we're looking for, okay? So the next method actually allows us to skip one at a time. Well, every time it's called, we go to the next one. And that's pretty cool because if you are building a game, then um, when a user completes a level, you can just go to the next level. And you're not returning all these. All right. So that's basically the concept of iter and next. Just remember, if you try to use the next method, you need to use the iter method. You need an iter object to use the next method. Okay. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget to share. We'll see you in the next tutorial.